did that other army go? I think he walked it back north, didn't he? Ever faithful. I shall diminish this garrison. That's what I get for reading chat while, was, while the turn's running. I miss where the computer moves sometimes. Uh, not that it's terribly important, I don't believe. This particular case. Oh, okay, yeah, he's up here. Death. Nice, critical failure. Perfect. Alright, well, we should be able to knock this no. out then. Not likely. Not likely. I will indulge you. Bring you guys up to here. It shall be so. And in the lady's name. Run her on up in here. Targia. Hello. I need to give these banners to somebody else. I need to give these banners to this guy. If I can. Yeah, they should all be in the Discord. Is that, yeah, you just have to scroll up a ways. Alright, let's do it. Okay, it's this map. Cool. We got a lot of flyers as well, so we should be able to deal with his artillery pretty easily. Steam tank should go down pretty quick to these guys, along with uh, Enri helping us out. So our horsey boy is over here. That's a lot of horsey boys. Questing knight. We are ready. And I suppose she could go over here as well. Let's take you guys, put you on three. And she can go over here too. I think this is might be in range of the tower. I'm not exactly positive. Shift her over a little bit. We're gonna take this entire mess, just shift it up to here anyway, so. Boss taste! Stay put! Alright, you guys. Divine Fury! Oh, you guys are like five Moment or something. Steady. Infantry! Take our infantry. Shift it. We're shifting them up over here. Peasant bowmen! Yes, me lord. Ow. Little bastard. Shooting my poor peasants in the face. Very rude. Take the ground. For the lady. Brave knight. Put it. These are just Empire Knights. Don't really care about them. Just drop all these guys in on top of the enemy over here. Side, and they can start shooting up over the top. Run, man! Victory is assured. Fuck him up, Henry. Fuck him up. Should you use the triangle transformation and when not? Uh, anytime you're charging, you should probably you should use the lance formation. Really, the only times you wouldn't want to use the lance formation are if you're trying to like hold a particular area or something like that, and you're trying to just take up more space with your uh, with your cav. Because there's no disadvantage. There's no disadvantage to using the lance formation. 
outside of the your guys taking up less space. So pretty much just always use it. Click on this guy, please. Thank you. If you're going to be charging, that is. If you're going to be standing around, then, then like I said, you might want to not have it on just so you take up more room. Or, like, over here, I'm not in a triangle formation because I want to be, like, hiding behind these walls, essentially. Try to pick up their guns. Get them. I saw you try to pick up those guns. Oh my gosh. Ruined. Defender of the realm. Battle ready. Arrowed. What kind of range are you looking at here? Peasant Bowman! Shift our Peasant Bowman up here a bit. Oh, really? He's gonna. You're gonna bring more of your leaders over here? I think this is a bad plan for you, but alright, cool. Paladin of He's actually bringing his entire army over here, alright. Well, we might have to. We might have to do something about that. Shall we? Alright, boys. Let's get back in the air here. We need to go fly around for a moment. Fly back around here, get healed. Actually, come back in again. And we'll take you guys and bring you over here. Shoot at anybody coming back this way. I'll just leave my shot cab outside for right now. So we haven't lost any bird boys yet, which means we'll be able to just heal them back up to full. Just stack them over here so we can, uh... Corners, man. This is like the worst thing for the freaking AI to try to path around is a corner. Like all your guys just get freaking caught on it. Ridiculous. Alright. Anyway. This is the advantage to these guys. Each one of the model each one of these models has a thousand hit points. So it takes quite a bit to actually kill a single model out of a unit. Teen Girl Squad! Yeah, freaking Homestar Runner is one of my, uh, one of my favorite, uh, I, I guess it's not really a web comic, is it? Because it's not a comic per se, it's a web cartoon? Yeah, I guess that'd probably be the best, be the best way to explain it. Oh, way back. Wave babies. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Shift it. Shift it. All right. Damn it. There we go. 
Ever to knock this door down because you know knights. Being freaking slow. Heal here. Battle ready. Actually, where's that? Okay, that the firecaster is way back there. Less concerned about him. He's gonna be hanging way the heck back. Power is trying to eat my ass, and I am going to move away from it. <laughs> I don't want to get destroyed by a tower. Weird laid off. Seems like a bad plan. Not very sustainable. Kill those guys again. You guys got long sticks, we got long sticks. Can we work this out? Probably not. No waiting others. Heck with even bad guys anymore. Let's go hit those guys up. Then be leader go, did he die? Oh no, wait, there he is. He's dying. He's not dead yet, but he is dying. Uh, let's give you guys some physical resist up here, just so you have to work against those. Okay, no, never mind. It's over. The knights actually made it through the door. Good job, knights. Knights are really bad at knocking down doors because they don't do a lot of damage, like, in a single hit to doors because they don't have any, like, bonus siege damage, and they swing really slow. And their model size is large, so they get in each other's way, so not many of them can hit the door at the same time. So even though like infantry has a doesn't have a great amount of damage to do to doors either, they're a smaller unit size, which means that they, a lot more of them will be able to get on top of the door and hit it, which means they're gonna knock it down faster. Takes forever for Cap to knock doors down. Also, infantry tends to have a faster attack speed. Strangely enough, uh, like dogs are not too bad at knocking down doors because. They have a pretty good attack speed, and their model size is not all that big. Thirty-one k. Take what you can. Yes, please. Oh, we got looter again. Jeebus. Okay. The Leoness. Talk about that real quick. Name. Prepare that. Don't want that. Build that. And but right. Lord of Bretonia. Moving up. A little bit closer here. Now, yes. Go. And him, Griff. Nice. Clog is the original door knocker. Yeah, he does pretty good damage to doors. Trolls actually are probably one of the best units at knocking down doors. They hit doors so freaking hard. Ah, yes. That you points block army. True knight of Britonia. Okay, so now we just need to get back at Kalabad and we'll have this entire region. Finally. Jeez Louise. Forever. Um, what do we want to put here? I could put a farm. It does still generate 600 income even without the 50% increase. Control might be nice too. Actually, no, we're actually good here. We don't need the extra control. What's this is adjacent to? Pyramid? Hmm. 
What we could do is we could put a Grail Chapel here. That might be useful. Again, we could just put money here as well, I suppose. Uh, actually, we'll just put money here. We'll put a Grail Chapel in Sunberg. Guardian of Bretonia. I await. I await. Uh, Great Mortars Delta. Oh yeah, that leveled up. Nice. Let's get that, and also let's put a Grail Chapel in here too. We might. So we might do, or we might get the uh, the vault or whatever, but we need to make sure that we have enough ability to untaint. So if we can get a Grail Chapel like in the Black Tower, a Grail Chapel in Sunberg, um, we're not gonna get a Grail, Grail Chapel over here. If we own Camry, we get a Grail Chapel on Camry, but unfortunately we don't own Camry. So I want to take out. I want to kill the Border Princes at some point, to be honest, because they're freaking annoying the hell out of me. But I think they're allied with the dwarves at the moment, so I'd have to convince the dwarves to unally. Yeah. Which I don't think that's happening, frankly. For Britonia, for the lady. But in any case, let's see. That would be. So we got a Grail Chapel here. That's three untainted. Six untainted. Yeah. Three six. We can get rid of this, honestly. So three, six, nine. And then the Grail Chapel here itself would be thirteen. So thirteen untainted. This gives twenty corruption. Is there anything else that I can... So I could get 14. So I'd still be at plus 6. What's the local populace give me? What are we getting here? We only got 2% vampire corruption at the moment. Got more chaos corruption than anything, really. So the fact that this is at two percent. Nice. A good old eighty percent increase in campaign line of sight. Probably will. Yeah. So the local populace is actually untainted. So we get another plus one from that. And it probably won't really it probably won't really osmosis around if we have Grail chapels all over the place. So the most we're gonna get is a plus five. Also, I suppose we could venerate the lady, which is another two. Yeah, we could control this pretty well. Honestly. If we wanted to drop in that vault in the gosh. I gotta get 100 growth. It goes from 80 growth to 100 growth in the province. <laughs> it's a single province, so it doesn't matter at that point. 100 growth. Woohoo! <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of like copy-pasted, because obviously if you're a multi-region, multi, multi -region, the 100 growth could come in handy, but when you're a single region, the 100 doesn't mean anything. Alright, anyway. I need to get more Grail Chapels so I get more Damsels anyways. 
Oh, I'm locked in it too. This army here could actually... This army here could use a damsel. Though I think I'll probably get a damsel, like a Heaven's Damsel or something like that. I mean, I guess... Blast, Thunderbolt, like Midnight Wind, Comet, Chain Lightning. Is that really worth it? That's one of my other options. Beast, I guess, is my other option. I use it so rarely with the... What do we got for AoE here? Wild Form. Be nice. Crow's pretty garbo for the most part. Amber spear, eh. Pelt. That's pretty nice. But I can get that off of life as well. I get the physical resist off of life. It's okay. And transformation is eh. Get ready for a breakdown! Hmm. I think, honestly, the. Or life is the best. I also want to do damage. Uh. uh Chaos and. Deportus? That's what I'm gonna go with. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. How'd you pull the cell browser? Um, so there's a butt. Uh, right now. Hang on a second. I'll get rid of this real quick so you guys can see it. Just gotta find out my list here. It's in the top left corner, but I'll actually try to remove the thing up there so you guys can see it. There we go, okay. So up here, in this corner, you've got camera settings, which allows you to dick with like how fast cameras move and, and how fast people move and stuff like that, which you have a bunch of options for. And then also there's the spell browser, which is up here, which is this button, which opens up the ability to look at all the spells in the game. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you, like, damage numbers for damage spells and stuff like that. It just says, uh, causes massive magical damage. But it does still give you a lot of information, like what the overcast is, you know, what what extra stuff it does, things like that. So it can be pretty useful. They just let you look at it. And it shows you the animation and stuff for it, too, which is kind of cool. If you want to actually see what it looks like. Um, let's see. So yeah, I think Laura Life is still going to be the best option. Because, like, this gives me 22 physical resist and also gives me 30 weapon damage. Regrowth is obviously good. This is, this is really expensive for what it does. To be honest, but it does some damage. So basically, I would go Heavens if I want to do some more, some extra damage to people. I think we're just better off going with... Just better off going with this anyway. Six... Like this. This and this are pretty good. This is good. I mean, all this stuff is good, honestly. This is like, okay. Damage. Speed hit. And this is kind of expensive for what it is, but... Yeah, no problem, man. I like the name. <laughs> All right. I think it's all he's gonna do this turn, anyways. Uh, here we're not moved. Oh yeah, this guy. Go take a peek in here, see if there's any armies running around. What do you use as your front line with Bretonia? I tried playing them, and I had a lot of difficulty. So, in the late game, as a front line, I usually use just Grail Guardians and Questing Knights, backed up by like Grail Knights and Hippogriffs. Uh, but, My strength and like, in a peasant army, yours. Battle Pilgrims are really good, or Men-at-Arms Pullman are really good for frontline. They have pretty high, like, these, the uh, Men-at-Arms Pullman have high melee defense, which makes them pretty good in the frontline. They don't have a lot of armor, 
which is kind of an issue, but uh, their metal defense is pretty good, and they are, do have an anti large, which is a constant problem for Bretonians is fighting things that are big. Uh, but if you do do if you do go with men at arms Pullman, make sure you get some Grail Reliquies. Get a couple, get like two Grail Reliquies if you're going to use them as your front line, because the Grail Reliquy uh, gives them an immunity to psychology, which makes it so they don't get they don't get feared as long as they're within the Reliquies AOE. Uh, feared or terrored, which is a big thing with peasants, is them losing their their leadership because of fear and terror, particularly in the early game. Uh, so try to get a Reliquy in with them. If you use Battle Pilgrims, you don't really got to worry about the Reliquy quite as much because their leadership is a lot higher. Uh, and when they're frenzied, they're already immune to psychology, so you don't really need it. Um, they, again, don't have a ton of armor. But their melee defense is okay. Their melee attack is okay. Their weapon strength is higher than most other peasants. So they're they're not a bad front line either. Decent unit size, 90. And then you usually back it up with like archers or cav, obviously. Uh, a lot of the times because you do not have... Um, a lot of times because you do not have the supply lines like other factions do, like when you build extra armies, it creates, it makes so your upkeep goes up. You, uh, you can build two armies very quickly with Bretonia, so you can have like a, kind of a, like I had this army here, this army here with Blessings of the a bunch of cav in it, you. following around my main army for a I lot of the early you. games, so I'd have my main army that was, mo that had like more peasants and stuff in it, being followed around by these guys. So when I get in a fight, I would have the I'd have the peasant front line and then the cav to back it up, essentially. And the cav can come on board really fast because obviously they're on horseback and get to where they need to be in the battle very quickly. What knights for the front line? So if you've got a front line with knights, it's got to be a freaking grail guardians or questing knights. Or both. These guys are really, really incredibly hardy. Do you use farms for your economy? I do. Yes. Farms are better than industry currently for, for your economy. You just gotta make sure you don't, like, screw up your peasant economy numbers if you're going with solid farms. But overall, the farms are gonna give you more money. These are also used... Yeah, that, that's the other thing. If you get if you get armories up to level 2 as well, which is kind of expensive... They give a plus two armor for all units and all armies, which that's that can be useful as well. So like as you see, these guys here have or, like these guys here have forty six armor. It's because they're getting like bonuses from anvils. Oh, unless you're talking, <laughs> they're gonna need anvils after being smashed against them. <laughs> I also, oh, you're talking about the uh, the hammer and the anvil. Yeah, these guys are essentially your anvil, and then these guys are your hammer. When it comes to the actual like, uh, the actual like in combat, because these guys are shot cav with massive charge bonus. These guys' charge bonus is pretty good too, but they have a higher melee defense. See, like this melee defense is 34. These guys' melee defense is 60. Melee defense and armor are you're going to be your big surviving factors in a melee. If you have high melee defense and high armor, you're going to survive for a long time. And then obviously on top of that, you can get like resists and stuff like that too, like physical resist and ward save. But if you're looking for a unit to survive for a long time in, in melee, uh, in the early game, armor is good. When the, as, you, as you trend towards late game, melee defense being higher is going to really help you out. For because a lot of things for are going to have, a lot of things are going to have armor piercing. I mean, not to say that melee defense doesn't help you in the early game. It is incredibly useful if you're trying to hold the line. Um, is my armor. But armor is more effective in the early game because there's less armor-piercing values on the field. In the late game, like, everybody's got armor-piercing. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I think that's going to be it for the turn. Boop. Oh. 
Apparently Albrecht completed a vow. Somehow. Alright. Also, you want to try to keep your... You want to try to keep your peasants close to your leader because your leader is going to give them leadership bonuses in the early game. And if your peasants do run away, uh, just try not to be near the edge of the map. So, because they'll probably recover. They'll probably just get spooked, run away, and then you can like re get you can like re grab them and pull them back into the fight. So long as you don't set up like right on the border. If you set it right up on the on the line, when they run, they're just gonna run right off the map. So if you can stay away from the edge of the map as much as possible, unless you think you're just gonna be able to take the fight that way, obviously. But if if you're far enough away, then your peasants will usually rally somewhere on the backside, and then you'll be able to pull them back in. I trouble sieging with them too. Uh, yeah, sieging can be a little bit of trouble. Um, a lot of what you're gonna need is uh, to flex your leadership, like paladin. If you get paladins early on, that's gonna help you out quite a bit. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do a lot of wall climbing and shooting things with arrows. Or trying to get your big guys through the door so that they can help out. You might need to... You probably have to wait and build towers in some cases, depending on how dangerous the siege is. <sighs> Trebuchets are alright, but... They're definitely not one of the better siege weapons out there. They have really long range. That's basically their big thing, is they got a long range. <laughs> also, if you get a damsel early on, that helps out significantly as well. If you have a damsel of life, or, hev or a damsel of heavens, that can really, really help you. Because... Let's see... This spell here is super good. I mean, Earth Blood's good too. Healing is always going to be strong, right? And it's cheap. This is really cheap healing, so that's that's nice, right? Um, but Shield of Thorns gives you weapon sixty percent weapon strength and twenty two percent physical resist in an AOE. So that's going to help you survive. That's going to increase the survivability of your peasants and knights and everything by a huge margin. How do you deal with armies that use lots of halberd on their front line? Uh, tie up the halberds, charge them from behind. Or cause, or catch the halberds while they're moving. Because if you hit the halberds while they're moving, they don't get their NA large uh, defense. Even if you hit him from the front. So if you can tie him up with something and then hit him from behind. Then they don't get the anti-large defense either. And also they get uh, decreased defenses against your units as well. Or shoot him with arrows. That's the other option. If you got a lot of arrows, Halberds die very fast to peasant arrows, honestly. Because they don't have shields. So they usually just get tore up. So, if you can catch them, shoot them with arrows. They die quick. Bada, bada. Shifting sands. Alright, let's see what we got here. with little this up. And a little walls going on in here. Do you know who I am? Baladin of Britonia. All right, this guy ran into the city over here. I'll ignore that. My reputation precedes me. Yes. Yes. Over here. Pious. Grab that. Over here. Gerald Vermin. Appreciate the follow as well. Hey, you're welcome, man. Always happy to help. 
Provided I'm not like in the middle of a giant battle or something where I can't read My chat. <laughs> uh, let's see, you, what are you doing? Search the ruins, yes, this is the, this is obviously Clan Moore's capital, so, um, we're most certainly going to find Skaven there, but it does give me EXP, so. Just take the free EXP off of that. Okay, so we're gonna move up on Akalabad, we'll nuke them, that'll be that, and then we'll move over here and do the quest battle. After we're done with that. Things are looking pretty good. Anybody on Diplomacy that wants to talk to me, give me more trade. Anybody here want to trade? I have spices. No? Alright, fine. Fine, be that way. Everybody that's trading with me apparently is... Or that wants to trade with me is already trading with me. I mean, I'm getting three and a half grand off trade. It's pretty good. 10k off taxes. Yeah, was a... the sun pours down on My army upkeep is insane. What is... 7,000. Oh gosh. No wonder. These guys are really, really good, but they are also really, really expensive. <laughs> okay, uh, technology, we got two more turns on what? Oh yeah, hay stores, okay. Yeah, I'll get farriers and move from there. Is there something else I want to get that's like one turn? Five percent off from infrastructure, probably not really worth it at this point. Alright, but well, I'm going to go run the turn, and I'm going to use Latrine, because I uh, haven't stood up in two hours. Should probably do that. So yeah, going to go use Latrine. Going to stretch my legs a little bit. I'll be right back to murder more uh, more humans. I will hang around for a moment, though, just to make sure that like immediate diplomacy doesn't happen. But then I'll, uh, then I'll be off. That's Okay, it looks like we're good. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it.